The title of this book is The Basics of Magic, a Primer in the Mystical Arts, or The Moon Clan Manual, or The Basics of Magic. This book is involved with the Lunar Diplomacy Quest and can be found on the Lunar Isle or in one's player-owned house after the Lunar Diplomacy Quest. Hmm, seems to be some words are missing from this book. The Basics of Magic, a primer in the mystical arts. This primer has been collated from years of our research into the metanatural arts commonly known as magic. All those wishing to set forth upon the astral path should read this primer until the concepts within are fully understood so that their potential may be fully realized. Chapter 1 Myths and Misconceptions Those familiar with the history of our people will know that the source of magic has always been a continuous issue. Our Fremenic forefathers believed magic to be a possession of the gods, and that our use of it risks far more than any benefits it may bring. We, of course, take the more enlightened view that we should use all tools at our disposal for our own betterment. Beyond any ethical or moral issues surrounding magic, however, lies the key question. What exactly is magic? The other obvious question that presents itself then would be, where exactly does it come from? I intend to explain here how both of these questions are actually the same question, phrased differently. The first major misconception relating to magic is that the stones we use for our art somehow contain magic within them. Although roughly correct, to believe this is how magic works limits your understanding of our potential and will prevent you ever achieving the feats which we are all capable of. Rather, the rune stones that we shape to our purposes serve to focus your own power rather than containing the power themselves. A short history of how the runes were first discovered will serve to illuminate this point for you more fully. As we all know from the tales told to us in the secret tongue, magic was first discovered in the lands by v and the rest of the name is cut out here when he accidentally stumbled upon the stone of and this word is cut out beginning with a J the stone was clearly not of this world and the mere touch of it unlocks something within the mind of that name with a V that's cut out again as we know the stone was instantly removed by those powers who walk a higher astral path than ourselves but its very existence showed that person whose name starts with V that's cut out possibilities that had never occurred to our kind before. His lifelong search for the stone never did reveal its eventual fate, and the myths suggest that the stone may yet still lie somewhere within this world. But he did discover something of great importance in the caves where first he found the stone. The very rocks that had surrounded it had been suddenly changed by its presence. The rocks in their contact with the stone of that J word that's cut out had gained a yearning to be something that they were not. And that V name, which is cut out, discovered that by focusing thought upon them, he could transform them entirely for short periods of time into the very elements of the universe. This is a mere parlor trick, as many of our young have done the same thing with essence as children, making the cold burning fire in their hands on summer nights. And that V name that's cut out again, knew that should he be able to effect the permanent change upon these stones, he could have access to the very power of the gods themselves. And so was created the Astral Temple. 
This was the first, and to this day we honor those who walked before us on the astral path and prevent it falling into the ruin that this dimension has caused its counterparts. By regular concentrated effort of will upon a large dolom of essence, by a number of people simultaneously, the dolom was finally convinced that it had become something which was not. The astral ruin, symbol of our very way of life. It is a testament to what is possible if we seek understanding. And we've reached the end of the Moon Clan Manual. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I'll see you next time, pretty soon, with the next one. Peace, guys.